Recently, we've all read in the news of Fidel Castro's death, and I'd like to take us back to 1959, however, when the Cuban Revolution was just winding down. And Johnny Weissmuller, he visited the country to take part in some celebrity golf tournament. Now, since Fidel Castro's communist rebels were prowling the countryside, looking for remnants of the ex-president Batista's army, Weissmuller and the other tourists were compelled to hire bodyguards. They were in trouble. On the way to the golf course, the little entourage was abruptly surrounded by Fidel Castro's guerrillas who quickly disarmed the bodyguards, stood with guns pointed at Weissmuller and the rest of the group. Now, what would Tarzan do? Weissmuller bravely stood by the convertible in which all these people were riding. He beat his chest. He let out the famous Tarzan jungle call. The guerrillas, recovering initially from shock, recognized the American film star and they started yelling, Tarzan, Tarzan, bienvenido, welcome to Cuba. And incredibly, this potential kidnapping turned into an autograph session. And Weissmuller said his friends were so ecstatic as they went to the golf course. Now, instant recognition is something that celebrities have to handle, but it's obviously good to have some backup, a trademark, some kind of trigger recognition is. And Wise Mueller, he had it. It was that famous jungle call of Tarzan. Today's gospel is all about identity and it's all about recognition. It suggests that our Christian identity will not immediately be evident to people unless they see the goods that we do, unless they hear our Tarzan-like excitement. And that day, in 1959, Tarzan was able to escape because he was identified. Would anyone know that we're Christian?